Eric Savage here with Savage on Wheels. We're with an American icon today. We've got a Chevy Corvette. This one's the convertible version. They're calling it a Stingray again. That's great because it's an iconic name itself. They restyled it for 2014, and uh, so I think a really beautiful car. Obviously gone are the old fold-up headlights and so forth, so we have the more modern-looking headlights on this, the sealed uh, uh, system that they have. This one, of course, has got kind of racy tires on it. This is the uh, regular Stingray version, so it starts at 38 It has eight. an $8,000 option package on it that comes with some pretty racy-looking tires here. You can see deep treads there, but not a lot on the edges. Uh, and this car starts at $58,800, but Ed is loaded up here with that 8,000 package and some yellow uh, brake uh, calipers and so forth. This one ends up being $74,000, so uh, pushing the envelope a little bit, but you know, if you're going to buy a Porsche, uh, it's going to cost you a lot more than that. So a lot of fun here with uh, at a modest price, all things considered. So the restyling, they've got a whole new back end on this, which I think looks really mean on the new Corvette. Uh, this one has the carbon fiber, at least look, of, of the spoiler in the back. That costs you a little bit extra. And uh, not the world's largest trunk because it's a convertible, so you're not going to have as much space as you would in a coupe. But you can see, we got a little space in here. You could put a couple of bags in here. Obviously, the roof's gonna fold down under beneath this section over here. But, uh, you know, you can get a couple overnight bags anyway and uh, maybe take a, a trip to, I don't know, from here we are in Milwaukee, you can go to Madison, have a nice <laughs> weekend and <laughs> One come of the back. I think looks coolest back here is we got four big exhausts coming out the back, right in the center. And, uh, you know, this is a muscle car. This is a, something you're going to buy for the speed and for the look. This is not, there's no uh, great practicality to a car like this. Okay, new Corvette. You don't have to do any of this folding down, unlatching things anymore. You just have to press a button. You got a button over here just on the left-hand side of the dash. And it takes about 20 seconds for this to go down. So this is a nice cockpit you got on the new Corvette here. This particular one has kind of a carbon fiber look trim all around the dash. Uh, we got a push button here that opens the door so there's no knobs or handles anymore. Uh, like most of the cars today, wrapped in leather. This one has a power tilt and telescope feature here so I can bring it in and out. Uh, which is kind of nice because uh, what I've noticed as a shorter driver is to get out of the car easily I gotta tilt this baby up a little bit. But the projected uh, gauges, no more real gauges here in the middle, that all the speedometer and so forth is projected. You got your normal uh, fuel gauge over here and the heat and so forth and then, then this is your speedometer or you can use the one that's in the center. You also can change the way the gauges look. There's different ways you can punch some buttons here and it'll change the way it appears and moves things from side to side. So well, a couple choices that way. Naturally power mirrors the power top. This has a heads-up display so I can adjust that over here. Uh, we also have a number of things like uh, this is your radio speakers you can turn up and down here you can select your favorite uh, stations and so forth there and obviously the usual big screen here that will have the navigation system has your radio on it satellite radio and so forth what I do like about the vet in particular now is that you do have the big buttons here and and knobs that you can select things and see them easily heated and cooled seats so easy to function while you're driving down the road because a, a car like this, you got all the speed uh, capability anyway. You want to be able to see this, look down, and quickly punch so the button. We're going to take a little ride in the Corvette today and uh, show you what it looks like from out inside and from outside and so forth. Uh, we'd love to leave the top down today, but hey, it's April in Wisconsin and it's about 43 degrees right now. So we'll probably put that up for most of the ride. But it's easy to put up and down, so no big deal. Exact kind of road you want when you uh, have a Corvette, a nice winding road. We're out in the suburban Milwaukee area now. 
and uh, winding through the trees here. It's a beautiful drive today, even though it's a little on the chilly side. Uh, nice road. Particular uh, Stingray convertible. It's got a seven-speed manual transmission. And actually, it shifts very easily. A lot of times in Corvettes in the past, I've had a little bit stiffer uh, shifting and clutch pedal. This is certainly heavy and, and feels like it means business, but it's not uh, not where you, I haven't killed the engine once on this one, which is, uh, uh, I think, a good sign of how much smoother the, the whole system is. The Corvette's got a lot of power. This one has a 6.2 liter uh, V8 in it. This one creates two or 450 horsepower, so it'll go as fast as you want it to go. Certainly, we, I've tried it out on the uh, highway entry ramps, and uh, you know you're going to approach triple digits pretty quickly. But uh, you know what is this is just like a race car, but it's a little more street worthy and a little more comfortable to ride in. They've upgraded the interior; the leather is nicer, the whole dash and so forth feels and looks nicer. And uh, you know, I think they've done a nice job of finishing this one off. You know, for this kind of a price range, you expect a luxurious interior along with the uh, performance that the car brings with it. Handles real nice. You can see it doesn't take much uh, movement in the steering wheel for me to get the car to move back and forth on the road a little bit. So it'll uh, it'll handle very well. The ride varies according to how I dial it in here and the shifting also. Uh, I'm on touring right now, which gives you a little more comfortable ride. I can easily just turn this knob right here, and I don't know if you can see it up on the dashboard here. It goes to an S, which means it's in sport mode. I can go one more, puts it in track mode. That's going to firm everything up, uh, just like I was getting ready to go out on a racetrack, and I know that Paul, uh, my <laughs> cameraman here, is feeling this right now. It got a lot stiffer all of a sudden. We're going to go back at least to sport and uh, see how this goes. Get onto the highway here and see what uh, we can do with Mr. Corvette.